So we have Scotty Jr.'s, what you call it? Super Speed Cutting Monorail. Okay. It cuts off all this tree size. It goes super speed. Okay, so that's why it has that. All right. Well, in the background, I'm sure y'all see the uh, hidden side train here. In the background and as you see I have it connected a little differently and also this door is not closed all the way and there's a wire right there which could only mean one thing it's been motorized so uh, as you can see I put the motor in the back and I stole these nice looking pieces off of my blue train over there just to uh, make it look a little bit better for the video. And I put a magnetic coupler on the front and kept that on the very back. Eventually, I'll probably change it out to a magnetic coupler here as well. But with this being the battery box and this being the motor, this will always stay connected. So I'm thinking I'm gonna just leave that and spare me some magnetic couplers. So uh, yeah, obviously it's motorized. I went the easy route, just put the uh, new powered up hub in there and just like I showed you a train motor down there, which allowed me to keep the transformation functions available so it can still um, transform and still be mobile. So, pretty simple design, but it works out pretty nicely. And, uh... And the Lego set came with this piece. Oh, yeah, they already know about that. A lot of people have seen the train, but I don't know if anybody has motorized it yet. So, that is my motorized hidden side ghoul train, I think is what they call it. Yes. And, uh, yeah. There it is. And it's not a bad looking train. I really like the color scheme on it and everything. Which is why I decided to get one and motorize it. Um, I'm thinking about buying another one. And try to transform these two into one type of passenger car maybe. I've got some leftover train windows from the white high speed passenger train. I might be able to use and my next project is also going to be figuring out how to put headlights on here but it's probably going to compromise the uh, open mouth but either way I think I'm gonna try to put headlights on it and maybe still keep the wings maybe, to open and close. Hey daddy maybe you can well maybe you can uh, just put the headlights here and here Oh, on the very top, and then I won't have to interfere with that. Yeah, we'll see. It was kind of tricky running the wires through here. I'll open this up a little bit, I guess, while we're doing this. Open it up a little bit. You can see the wires actually fit down underneath the wings. I was able to feed it through, and it wasn't that difficult to do. Let's see if I can get this side off. Nope. But either way, it wasn't too bad. Pretty easy with the powered up system. It makes it pretty easy. There's one less component to try to hide in there. Oh, I did have to change this up a little bit too. I had all these 1x2 textured bricks from my first pick-a-brick cup, as a matter of fact. And I just extended it because now it fits on the entire base. And of course, I 86 these little guys. But um, it worked out pretty nice size. So you actually have plenty of space for the battery box. The wire is barely long enough. If it was a little bit longer, I could maybe uh, fit it. And I just eliminated one of these back panel pieces on the back of the train to feed my wire. I tried flipping one around, but the wire is too fat 
to fit in between. So maybe I'll just go with like a double stack of one by ones or something and close the hole in, or maybe just do a one by two attached to these two red bricks at the top, and that'll make the hole a little bit smaller. But the wire length is so short that it's really hard to tuck it in. But other than that, I think it looks pretty cool, and I really like that I was able to motorize it yeah. and keep the monster functions going so we can have fun with it like so. And that's it, folks. It is your motorized hidden side ghoul train.